Hi, my name is Maureen Baldino and uh, my artwork is up on the fourth floor and um, it's an emotional day because it's a day we're hanging the show and as we hang it I remember all the families that we've met and the artists that I've uh, become friends with online who helped us with this. I started when um, my second brother was a patient here at Smilo and our family was again facing a terminal cancer diagnosis. At a time that I felt uh, really alone, I started painting rocks and I was really nervous at, at the first batch to put them out, but I needed a way of reaching out to people and I never could have imagined how well it was received, uh, how many conversations it sparked. Our show is titled Thoughts You Can Hold On To and like, boy did we hold on to these beach rocks. We held them in our hands, we had them bedside, we had them in our pockets, and some of our patients even took them into surgery. I can't say how much this meant for me for healing and how happy I am to have worked in the creative expression program of integrative medicine. When I was looking at the wall and, and what I'd actually write about the show, um, I guess it's important to say that I'm just a regular person that um, was here supporting my brother. And at the end of the day, over the thousands of messages that we've written, there were three that I did versions of and that meant the most to me. And the first one is you matter. You know, you matter, your health matters, what you're feeling matters. I am all in all, you matter here at the hospital. The second was, you are loved. And not just by the first three people you're thinking of, but by this larger community at the hospital who's cheering you on. And the last one that, that started it all for me is that you are not alone. That's what happened for me. Everybody that supported the project kind of held my head above water and helped me not feel alone. And I was so honored to be able to do that for other people. So. As people help you, know that you're helping them as well. I hope you have the time to see the show, and um, I'd love to hear your comments about what you thought when you walked through.
show is dedicated to our patients, their caregivers, and our staff who are there to support them. Personally, I'd like to dedicate the show to my husband who's a cancer survivor and my brothers John and Mark who passed away from cancer. And to all the families that I've had the chance to meet with and share with them our stories. We are all different in ways that don't matter, but we're all the same here in our fight 